Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 1st through the 7th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saggy. Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the King of Cups. I kind of get the sense that that belongs to you as an energy in terms of it's not directed towards something or someone at this point in time where I see a lot of energy of self-love um, in this reading. So I kind of get the sense that the focus is mainly on you. But in the recent past, the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. You're showing me a partnership, uh, potentially someone you're working with, and kind of giving me a sense of, I don't know what to do about it. Because it feels like something about it is not working in the right direction, you know, in the, in the way that it should. Okay. In the current situation, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, you're giving me this energy of self-love, but you're giving it you're giving it to me from the perspective of a lot of pain in the way of that. So you could be looking at the ways in which you're not putting yourself first. You're not loving yourself, you know, which is going to potentially bring up a lot of stuff. Um, and it's going to open up this energy more for you, you know, of self-love. So interesting. In the immediate future, the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Death card, you're cutting something off and you're very determined. So you're not you're not just coming into this energy as, yeah, whatever, I don't need this, whatever. No, you're super clear. You know where you want to go. You know what you have to do. And you're coming in with this ghost. This is not going to come with me, you know? So cool. All right, let's see. <clears throat> let's do the king of cups the two of cups the page of pentacles the six of wands so there is another energy attached to you i still get the sense of yes as much as you're open towards this energy it's more about you in the sense of let me see where i'm at or let me see what i'm feeling let me see what i want to do about this you know um but whatever this is this situation involving another you care about them you know so i feel like whatever it is that's going on here you're trying to come from that place of love towards them um hmm. let's do the three of pentacles in the recent past the chariot the ten of pentacles the page of swords yeah something came together here uh in a very natural way by the looks of it so it could be someone you met and you had this chemistry with and you started either working with them or even a friendship of some sort something came together quite like not forced at all there's absolutely no hey you want to be my friend because i want to be your friend you know <laughs> nothing of that um uh, i don't know it's it's very very natural as it comes together let me do the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. As things progress, though, something is happening where you don't feel... You don't feel that natural flow to it, you know? It, it becomes a little hard. It becomes like, oh, this is, you know, this is not good. Um... <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but I do see it again. Initially, as it forms, it's it's looking great. It's looking amazing. It starts building into something. And then at some point in that, it's kind of like, Ugh. okay, I, I don't know if this is, you know, maybe we should split ways here or something. I don't see that happening necessarily, but okay, let's see. For the six of pentacles, you get the nine of wands, the three of wands, the nine of swords. It's becoming more and more difficult. 
So from this point on, where it starts feeling a little bit, it's becoming more and more difficult as things progress. And very stressful for you, ultimately, because you're part of something that doesn't feel good, ultimately, you know? Uh, again, whether it's someone you're working with on something or a friend even, I don't see it as being romantic. Could be, but I'm not seeing it. Um, so, I don't know. Let me do the Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're kind of sitting with this energy of, am I putting myself first here? And kind of figuring out that, not really. I'm kind of part of something. I'm investing into something. And I'm still going with something that doesn't feel right for me. So how is that putting myself first? It's not really. So really kind of realizing how disconnected you are from that energy of self-love and putting yourself first. You know, I feel like you try to justify it here with that five of wands where you brought in arguments over and over again. Um, but then no, realizing that no, it's just an excuse. No, it's just no, you know. Um, so you're looking a little bit upset here. Let's do the queen of pentacles, the world card, the fool, the five of pentacles. You're kind of giving this to me as almost like you don't want to admit that you made a mistake. And I'm like, where did you make a mistake here? All I see here is you going with something because it felt right in the moment. And it was right. You were right that it feels right. And then at some point it just didn't work out anymore. So where where is you? Making a mistake here? Because I'm not getting it. How could you have predicted that something that feels right is potentially not working out anymore at some point? You can't. You know, you're not you're not seeing in the future unless you are and then you fucked up, but not even then. No. Things happen like that. You know, that doesn't mean that we fuck up or, or they fuck up or anybody fucks up. Sometimes things happen in that way where, okay, you're on this path. There's another energy that comes in, joins your path. Everything's going great. And then at some point, you're going to split paths. So where in that is somebody fucking up for choosing a, a common path with somebody? That's why you keep yourself in this situation from that sense of being afraid to admit to yourself that you fucked up, that you made a mistake. And I'm like, again, I'm not seeing any mistakes here. That's just a fear, fear of failure. That's preventing you to connect to yourself and to be true to yourself and be like, I want to put myself first here. This doesn't feel good to me. This needs to go. You know? Um, interesting. Let's do the three of swords. The ace of swords, the ten of cups, the seven of wands. You're doing something against your will, basically, right? So when we invest into something, that's us giving energy to something. When we start feeling this something isn't doing me good and choosing, I'm still going to give energy to it. You're doing something against yourself, against your well-being, right? You're hurting yourself, basically. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. It's a lot to recognize that, hey, I'm doing that. It's a lot. It's not easy, you know. But you're in this process of sitting down with these things and trying to, to figure things out here. And then coming out with, again, all sorts of excuses for it. Oh, but it's going to hurt them if I break away. And it's going to hurt me. It's going to hurt everybody. I'm going to hurt so many people involved. And... You're hurting yourself by sitting here. That's the most important person here we're talking about right now. So you're willing 
to take one for the team to be like, okay, I'll, I'll stay in something that's not working out for me in order to not hurt everybody else. How do you know that everybody else is not going to be happier that you made the right decision for you instead of putting yourself through pain by going against you? How do you know that? You know, we have that tendency to think that we're protecting others by harming ourselves. Are we protecting them? From what? Protecting them from what? From potentially judging us for making decisions for ourselves, whether they're right or not? Who the fuck cares? Let them. Protecting what exactly? Because it all comes down to you ultimately. You know? So for the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Devil, the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Cups. I mean, you came up with a solution. You're like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to find a way to kind of leave the situation, to kind of... How does that work, kinda? <laughs> what do you mean? You're still giving energy to this. So how? Kinda? You're just tricking yourself into thinking, oh, I found the right solution for everybody involved. And again, you're still giving to this. Not feeling good about it, but kinda. <clears throat> Let me do the Emperor. The Two of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the King of Wands. It's hard for you to accept that ultimately it comes down to you. I'm sick and tired of people being martyrs and protecting everybody while they suffer. W where does that make sense? What's the point in that? And how do you protect those people? How do you think you're protecting those people? If they only knew you were in pain by protecting them, I'm sure they wouldn't want for you to be in that freaking pain. So how is this a martyr kind of a, mm, look at me protecting others. Great. Great. While well, you're in pain. Because you're harming yourself. So while you do this whole let me get there first. Let me try to understand that. And let me let, me let it sink in. Um, it's a process here. But you get to that place. You know, you as the main character in all of this and as your well-being in all of this, you are beyond everything else. You're putting yourself way out there. And we're remember, we're starting from the energy of self-love, putting yourself first. How is you from there being... First, first is the pain of what you're going through. Then it's the confusion of how do I make it good for everybody else. Then it's the kind of, then it's, you know. So you're going to go through a little bit of a journey here until you get to, oh, hold on. It is about me. <laughs> um, For the death card, you get the seven of cups, the judgment card, the ten of swords. And then you get to the conclusion of, I got to remove myself from this. And then you're finally showing up in an energy of, let's figure out a way to do that. You know, but not the kind of, not the, oh, I got to think about everybody else involved here. You know, not me. That's how I put myself first. I'm not thinking about me. Fuck me. I'm, I'm just going to go through pain all my life because you know it's it's about the others i'm generous look at me yeah so we're getting to the right uh little corner here of okay so all you have to do is figure out how to remove yourself from a situation that's ultimately not doing you good anymore it started good great you went with it what were you gonna do started good felt good you were putting yourself first there because it felt good. It's like, yeah, it feels good. Then it started not going so good. That's the moment where you started to not put yourself first anymore. You know? And you've been through a journey here and you're still going to go through a journey until it hits you. Oh. Oh. 
It's about me. Yep. So, let's see what the universe has. The Nine of Wands, the Chariot, the Lovers. Yeah, it's just that alignment with self and being true to yourself that you're having a hard time with right now. So the energy of self-love is definitely here, the energy of putting yourself first. You're just um, trying to figure out a way to kind of deal with it, uh, to kind of get to that place. But um, you'll get there eventually. Right now you're not there. You're through, I mean, you're in the um, position of navigating through that. So you'll get there though. But anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.